What's going on everybody, Flying Dutchman here and today we're gonna install a short shifter. Um, I just got this package from China and it's basically all the same simple short shifts as you see everywhere. Um, it's simple and it just extends this pivot point so you need to do less of a throw uh, to get it into the gear you want. Uh, it comes with this little, was it? clamp ring I don't know what it is I have a tool for it so that's the plus side um, and it was just 13 euros from China to my doorstep free shipping so I was like I cannot let it go to to, to at least try it and uh, see how it is because uh, a lot of people like it so I'm gonna see if I like it as well so here we are in the car um, first thing is we take the shifter off uh, doesn't look that pretty and then we're gonna take the shift boot out which is just holding by these two pins on either side then you have a big of big piece of protective or ice insulating foam I don't know why this is still in here but and then we have this piece So then you take the rubber boot sealer thing out. It's just a bit jammed in there. There we go. All the way around. It's a bit of a struggle with one hand though. Um, Almost dropped the phone. Phone first, give me room. Yes, there we go. So then this should... I'm gonna put you guys down for a little bit. Because I need two hands on this, otherwise I'm gonna rip it apart. It to come straight up and not sideways with one hand. So uh, I found out that this piece of rubber, I don't know if you can really see it, this here was really just, because it was so old, really stuck onto this. And if I would have pulled, I would have just ripped it apart. So what I did is I took some WD-40 and I just sprayed a little bit in there. And now it's, uh, as you can see, it's it is loose, it wants to, if you can see that, but it wants to flex around it now, so it's looped up around. And then I should, even with one hand, be able to pull this off. There we go. Poop. Since I wanted to, ah, oh, there's a little extra ring inside there that was seating behind there. Uh, nonetheless, um, uh, this I want to reuse this and, and to be able to seal it up, that's why I looped it up a little bit so it kept nice and clean so I can reuse it. Now, get all that shit and grime out of there. There, we have the original style shifter now all you need to do is the outside ring here it's a little bit hard to see maybe I can point at it with a tool it's a bit easier this ring here it's all the way around needs to be uh, turned clockwise in order to get the shifter out also underneath this is the shifting rod thingy uh, there's a C-clamp on the side of that, on, on that side. Uh, I need to take that out, then I can pull the rod out, unlock this, pull the whole thing out, drop the new one in, um, and it should be fairly easy, so I'm going to dive under the car now. Also, not a fun fact, because, where is my screwdriver? Because my car is so low, and also camera work is all over the place. Hold on, let me get out of that car because these bucket seats. 
It's not the easiest way to get out, especially with a cage. But because of the body kit and it's standing so low, I cannot put a jack on it there. So what I did is make little, little ramps, just for some simple scrap rope, uh, wood I had laying around. Um, and just that was enough for me to be able, if I took the bumper off, which is just four bolts, to put the jack underneath the subframe and then a little few jack stands for just for safety. So I'm gonna crawl under there and let's see. Now, as you hopefully can see, try to put my camera there. That is the little. Oh, working on the new G36. Oh shit, it's falling into your eyes. Um, there's the clip I need to remove. And luckily I have a headlamp so I can see what I'm doing. There. But I need two hands on this so I'm gonna drop the phone or the camera and then uh, take it out. So we're back. Uh, in the car, as you can see, this is all out. Um, there's a little, there is the linkage that I just pulled out if the camera wants to, well, uh, there. And then um, uh, that little C-clip that was there on the edge, maybe you can, I need something pointy to point. Um, there is a little edge on it, that C-clamp was on there, so you take it off and you just slide it out so now for this sucker um, like I said you just need to twist this plastic ring like 90 degrees or something and it will just come out but once again two hands ah, this is so like I said you, you twist it like 90 degrees and then uh, as a plop if you need to pull on a little bit but then here is the original one which is nasty as fuck but as you can see if I compare the two first off this feels way heavier as the original but there is the pivot. Uh, there's the pivot point of that one, and then you see how long that axle is of the little shaft is here till this. Then the same goes for that side. So if I put the pivot points on the same side, you can see how much of an extender this is. So yeah, that that makes <laughs> makes a good difference. Also, weight-wise, it's twice as heavy, if not more. So that could be for a good feeling, solid shift feeling. Uh, also, this is a bit greased up and nasty, but uh, I've seen a few videos on these. That's why I was like, well, for the 13 bucks, I'm gonna try it, because people say it's good or reasonable at least. Um, but what I've never seen is that people oil this up or oil it up. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, take some copper grease and spray something in there so it stays nice and, and uh, smooth. Don't know if it would make any difference over time, but we will never hurt to, to try, right? So, um, Also, I've seen people saying that you need to shave this down, so probably if I hold this like this, and I put this on this side, they kinda look the same diameter. Kinda. But we're talking about like, wait, if I put that one to the right side, then this should be what it's overlapping, which is eh, just a few millimeters. But hey, if that's preventing you to, to, to get the C-clamp on, then... Uh, so I'm gonna shave a little bit off of this, and then it should, like the other one, just drop right in here like that and then there's a big clam thingy here that goes on the bottom 
of the shifter. So you put it in and then you clamp down the ring here on the bottom side of that ring. So then it's like in and secured so you can pull it back up out and then uh, it should be all good. There's a little bend in it that needs to be backwards. So this should be the way to mount it. Also I'm going to clean it up a little. Um, why I'm doing the mod also not completely uh, unimportant. Uh, as you can see this is the hole where the shifter should be and the shifter is a little bit backwards because with the spot from four to six cylinder with this gearbox um, it went a little bit backwards. So uh, when I now go into second gear, uh, the shifter was kind of like pushing into here in the maybe the on, just the cushion, but it, it was not a solid like into gear click uh, like it was as first, uh, third, and fifth. If that makes any sense. So I was like, if I do a short uh, shifter, I have uh, less of a throw, uh, shorter throw. So it might do, give me the satisfaction of uh, click in second and fourth as well. So then everything should be all good. But we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna clean it up, grease it up, shave it off, put it in, and probably pick up the camera when I'm ready to put it back in. So we take out a piece of sandpaper and I just put a flat on the table. And then uh, I just uh, start rubbing it like this, so you have a flat surface, so you keep it nice and nice and flat. Um, also, uh, I'm doing it on both sides. Some people are saying one side, but then if I put it next to the other one, you can see it's still a little bit too long. So if I'm gonna take that off, there's almost nothing left on one side. So I'm just doing it on both sides equally so they have it has enough uh, material to uh, to go through so taking a bit more off so uh, it was a little bit wait there's too much light coming from there it was a little bit of a struggle but as you can see around the drive shaft hopefully camera picks it wait let me just use this light like this. Um, right there. Uh, the shifter is in. The little clip is on. Uh, so now it cannot go out anymore. It's secured. And now here on the other side, there's this little shifter pin. That needs to go in there. Hold on. Let me put this light back on my head. So maybe we can all see a little bit. It's from the other side though. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but there's a the rod needs to go through there. There we go. And now it should be small enough that the little C clip right uh, there. Go right on. Now, excuse me for all the weird angles and everything because, as some people know, working under the car is not always the most convenient way to do stuff, let alone film stuff. So, the little clip is on. Let me play. No, there isn't. So, that's all from under the car. Let's reverse the process up top. So here we are back in the car. Uh, on top, it doesn't have to be locked because that's just the whole red thing around it, what it does. And now you can just tug on it. It's not going anywhere. The pin is in. So we should be able to shift. Now, I'm not gonna put this thing back on because what's the point? Although, I have this little big opening here and this is filling that up a little bit. I think that's why I left it in, in the first place. So, this one can go back on. The original booth. Maybe that's why it's seating so weird, because it's, <laughs> It's not in the middle, so... 
anyways, I'm just gonna put that on. Put this one on because it's easy. This is short shifted. I don't know if this feels longer or not, but what the hell is my shift knob? Got a new shift knob coming tomorrow, but unfortunately. Oh, it's, it's like, you can even hear it, like, it's so, there's nothing damped, it's just click, 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 and it's, it feels so mechanical. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving it so far, I haven't even driven it with it yet, but it's just first and then neutral, second, and it, it maybe it looks still like a fair amount, but... This first, second, third, fourth. That's so good. Feels solid. Can't wait to try it out, but um, uh, the car is still on jack stands. So I'm gonna double check if there's nothing I still wanted to do and then pull it off of jack stands. Then do a little test drive. And after that, a little conclusion and close off the video but I think dinner is ready so I'm first grabbing a bite I'll see you guys in a bit see we just did a little lap um, it's already a lot later uh, we had dinner and just chilled out for a bit um, to be honest uh, sometimes you get shit products if you have pretty shit prices but uh, sometimes like this it works out and uh, usually if you pay cheap you don't get that much quality uh, like this thing had to be like sanded down a little bit like that it's smaller so it would fit on um but uh it's essentially a part that has so little to go wrong it's just a ball and a thing that it just moves around in it's nothing weird mechanical or, or technique or nothing real special so what can go wrong basically yeah maybe if you snap it off or you pull it too hard but <laughs> i mean i've seen that happen uh, but I think with this it's not gonna um, also the throw is a lot shorter uh, it's sort of um, it sort of clicks and gates uh, way nicer um, and I think for that it's an ex success especially for 13 euros is what it cost me free shipping um, I would say I recommend uh, if you have an E36 or E46 uh, just get on it Cheap, it's a simple, cheap, easy mod, uh, like 30 minutes if you know what you're doing. And uh, I, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I just got distracted a lot. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.